Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm gonna do part four, which is rendering and compositing our desert mountain thing. So I'm hoping you've seen all the parts up to here, but if you haven't, then um, well, uh, this is what we sort of done. So yeah, just putting that out there for people that are just watching this. Uh, so yeah, um, all right. So um, yeah, all right. What we're gonna do is render this, and this means I'm gonna have to pause my video. So uh, I'm gonna get rendering and then pause. So render. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you once it's rendered. Okay, so that's what we've got. Now there's a few problems. First of all, uh, the sand where it's kind of like flat looks a bit weird. So I'm gonna change that a bit. Also, I completely forgot about camera settings and the, you know depth of field and stuff and um, sun uh, I forgot a whole load of stuff so I'm just gonna quickly do them now um, okay so if we just back out this render first of all uh, was the sand so if I just bring back the nice node editor um, to just add more sand just bring it more to the left um, so yeah, that should do maybe bit more like that and oops um okay so um yeah that should do for the sand uh so that can now go away um second thing that i said was depth of field and camera settings so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that this wasn't shot from too far away so i'm, I'm going to set the length uh, focal length to 50 uh, which does zoom it in a bit more, but we can just then bring it out a bit more. So you're probably thinking, what's the point in that? Well, it changes the perspective in a way, uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, next thing, depth of field. So if we just tick limits, then you know you can see this great big line. If we just then increase the distance, then um, well, you know we can sort of see what's happening. I'm just gonna, I'm going to set it in between the sand and the mountain, like that. Um, because that's going to look good um, and yeah, oh, lens flare, that's the last thing that we need to do so um, if I were to adjust where the sun is coming from, bring it more behind the mountain like that um, about there so it can be seen in the camera and then just sort of bring it into the scene like that and then rotate it accordingly uh, Alright, so now this is kind of late in the day, so we're just going to set that to more of an orangey colour. Uh, leave the energy at 2, that's fine. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, oh, and now if we press Shift S, go to Cursor to Selected. We can now add a UV sphere. And um, we're going to just... Uh, we're going to decrease the segments to what or half their amounts and a quick way you can do that is hang on if you if you're not too good at maths uh now these this is easy just halving these numbers you know 16 and 8 but um if you're not good at math like let's say you're dealing with big numbers and you have to get exactly half something and it's 1276 or something something sort of takes time to half you can just press slash 2 and slash means uh or forward slash anyway means divide uh, and if you want to time something by two, you can just put the little asterisk sign. But we just want to half them, so you can just do that. It's a quick little thing that should help you out slightly. Uh, we're gonna make the sun nice and small like that because we don't actually want it that big because it's kind of far away. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a new material, we'll call it sun, and we're gonna make it about the same color as the lamp that we had. Get rid of specularity and increase the emit to two. Um, okay, I'm not going to render this yet, we're going to go to the thing up here, render settings, and I'm just going to set the amounts to what we're going to be working with. Uh, save. Um, yeah, I did mean to do that, I did. Um, right, so, um, hang on, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the layers. So, if we just uh, go into the layer settings, uh, well, with the lamps, uh, the 
new ball that we made that's going to act as a sun. Just press M and click on this one that's underneath the first layer. And then um, in in this little layers thing, this is render layer. This is just the one that's called render layer, and that's just the first one. So I'm going to call this scene, and we're going to add another one. Call it sun. Add another one that we're going to call sky. Um, okay, so now save and. Uh, what we're going to do is with the scene, this is just going to be the first layer. The sun is going to be the second layer. Well, I think actually they number them from horizontally, but I just work up and down because so it's a shorter thing. And the sky is going to be the third layer. And we're just going to select all of them in the scene things. That's all the ones that we want to render in total. But for the scene, we don't want to render the sky. For the sun, we don't want to render the sky, funny enough. Um, for either of them, set the horizon color to black. Uh, just so that uh, I, don't, I don't know if it makes a difference. It's like, no, it doesn't. But still, um, okay. So that's the sun and the sky. Uh, oh, and in the sky, we of course want to tick the sky. That's what this one's there for. Um, okay, so I think that's everything done in that case. So save and well, gonna render again. So I'm gonna pause. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like rendered now after I did those changes, and I quite like that, that's looking good. Um, so, yeah, into the compositor, press control and left arrow, that'll take you straight there. And um, we're just going to press shift and space, and that will just make it full screen, and then we can just press shift and space again, and uh, well, I can just swap them, you know, just turn it back to normal. Okay, so we're going to uh, take use nodes uh, and backdrop. And uh, if you just um, add an output node right there, like that, then that's fine. Um, Alright, so you're probably thinking, where's the sky gone? Where's the lens flare? Where's all this stuff that you did? Well, that, that, that's bad grammar that you put there. There you go. Uh, well, they're in different render layers, and this is just one render layer. So if we just duplicate this twice, like we did with the material nodes, you can then have, you, you have seen. Then we can change this one to sun, and we can change this one to sky. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is, first of all, we just want to mix the sky and the scene together, really. Uh, so, we're going to add, choose mix, get out. Hang on, there you go. So, yeah, the render layer. Make sure that the sky is. Oh, hang on, we want the sky in here, don't we? Yeah, we want the sky in. Get it in. Alright, so, um, yeah. Choose scene and sky, put them in the same one. In fact, it'll make sense if we just. Because the sun's going to have a lot of compositing done to it uh, to make it look more like a sun. Um, Alright, so we're going to set the alpha from the render. Uh, from the scene into the mix. And I'm hoping. Uh, yep, there we go, it's worked. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. Next thing is to create the lens flare. And this is a. Kind of a long, slow, painful process. Well, actually, no, it's quite fun, once you get it right, because it, it looks nice. Mm. Alright, so we're going to give it a viewer, and we're uh, going to give it a blur note as well, change it to fast caution. Um, put the image into the blur, and we're going to set this to 150 by 150. Uh, it's made nice and bright. Um, Alright, so that's cool, and then do the exact same thing again, but with a much smaller one, so like 30 and 30. Uh, put that in the viewer, and uh, okay, it's looking be good. Well, not better, it's looking good. And then choose mix, uh, choose add, and then we're going to just add these two together with the factor of 1. So that's those two in, oops, like that. And then together, they look like that. And that's looking good. Um, for now. So yeah, let's just uh, make more space because we need a lot of space for the lens flare. Um, okay, and then yeah. All right. So next effect is the lens flare stuff. So we're gonna add a glare. Um, put the image into the image there, and then just duplicate the add then put that in there and then duplicate the glare and then put the image in the glare like that then put that in that the glare in the mix so we've got a mix oh, we've got these add things of uh, 
the glares and the blurs and then we're gonna have to mix those together with another add but we haven't actually done much setting we haven't done any settings to the glares yet so we're about to do that in a second um, all right so yep that looks pretty strange um, all right so for the top one we're gonna leave that at streaks for the bottom one we're gonna turn that into ghosts um, and then with the streaky one we're gonna set the streaks to five uh, just makes them look interesting uh, I'm not gonna bother giving them an angle or anything an angle offset that's fine I can say how it is um, but with the ghosts what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna add some RGB curves so we're to color RGB curve um, put the image of the glare into the RGB curves and then put the output of the RGB curves to where the ghost glare was and then just increase the we'll just make it a lot brighter by clicking roughly in the middle and then um, putting it there I should have done something <laughs> um, just to make it look a bit more awesome and uh, yeah so we're not gonna bother with the lens flare at the moment so just pretend that I never mentioned anything uh, but you can see my other tutorials uh, I've got a lens flare tutorial and it worked on that one but on this one it's not which is really weird so I'm confused alright so um okay uh, now let's just mix these in with this in fact not yet yes yet let's just mix them in alright so this one uh, just put in the mix from this and then yeah, just duplicate the mix and then put that one and that one together and then look through this viewer and you can now see we've got a nice sun in the sky but it looks it's looking a bit weird hang on um in fact we're just going to leave that down here for now uh because we want to add some depth of field um okay so filter defocus uh put in the mix that we've got here into there and the z from the scene there and we can put this into that and it looks really weird but don't worry uh, if we just choose use Z buffer and set the F stop to about 50 then uh, it just adds a bit of depth of field you can go really low like 5 and uh, it goes really depth of field -y. So we just set the samples to 50 um, okay uh, but we don't have 5 when I have about in fact, Let's have 35. Um, yep. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Just gives it a bit of depth of field and it looks good. Alright, so now we've got the lens flare being added in like that. Uh, so we're just going to add some RGB curves from this just to make this fit in a bit better. Um, so we'll just delete this viewer up here. Uh, and we're just going to make this lens flare a bit brighter so it really looks like the sun is just going right through um, you know from the mountain really um, okay so now uh, I'm gonna add a vignette and if you don't know what that is it's where basically the corners sort of fade out into black um, I quite like it um, as an effect so yeah um, to do that uh, it's quite easy really just gonna go to um, uh, just uh, converter math and then put the image into the bottom value change it from add to less than uh, choose zero let's put that in hopefully it should be yep completely white and now um, duplicate this uh, again put it in the bottom I think and choose greater than then this should be completely black yep um, oh hang on let's just get rid of that from the alpha yep still looks completely black okay uh, it's just slightly different to the tutorials you're going to see, but I just find this works slightly better. Uh, so yeah, and then do color mix add. Oh no, not color mix, not yet. We're going to uh, go to distort. Um, dis no, not this place. Um, lens distortion. Uh, choose, uh, make the distort one, and then put the white one in uh, the image there. And then if we just put this into the viewer, you can see we've got that kind of effect there. But if you were to actually look at it in like a, a thing, if this black stuff here is basically the alpha layer kicking in. 
and I don't like that so we're just gonna co uh, go color mix add um, put the image from the lens distortion into the top image and then the value uh, from the uh, this here into there put that into the image and ho yep this is now actually uh, completely um, just set that to one uh, this is now completely you know no alpha if that makes sense um, okay so um, yep now it's a bit weird just want to save there we go uh, we're going to add a blur node so filter blur set it to fast gaussian um, image into there image into the viewer um, like that and then set the set this to about 100 by 100 okay that's quite nice and then um, uh, we're just going to just bring these down and a bit closer together to just save some space. Uh, make another mix, set it to overlay. That, that's probably not the best option, but uh, it might be. I don't know. It sort of depends what kind of image you're using. But in Photoshop, I usually use overlay. And put that in there. Put that into the viewer, and um, just set the factor one. Um, hmm. Maybe you might want to set it to um, soft lights. Um, kind of makes it a mild sort of vignette. Maybe set the factor two even. Ooh, 1.5. 1.2. 1.25. Uh, okay, that will do for a vignette. Alright, so that's it really for this mountain tutorial. I would have really liked a lens flare to come across. Um, but I couldn't because it's weird. Um, so yeah, you might you could just play around maybe with some small color correcting, like maybe add some RGB curves and just make the entire scene maybe just a slight a bit darker um, or even lighter. Um, yeah, about there. All right, so um, oh, hang on, might just want to adjust the vignette again to darken. No, not that one. Uh, ooh, it looks interesting like that. Um, nope. Uh, yeah, so you can just sort of try and play around with that. Um, it's quite interesting. I'm going to leave it a soft light though with a 1.75. 1 uh, okay, uh, so yeah, that's what my. I'm going to call that the final image for this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to render it again in a nice big image. Uh, ooh, look at all this compositing we've done. Aren't we clever? Um, so yeah, um, just going to try and make this look a bit smaller, just so that it, I can fit it into the camera a bit better. Okay, so um, yep, that's all the uh, compositing done. That's the entire series done on how to make mountains like this, and a bit of sand and you know sun and all that stuff. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed um, making and watching and doing whatever it is you did uh, with this series. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter, visit my website, do whatever, yeah, do whatever. Uh, all that stuff you can do is in the description. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, goodbye.